there are over 2 million robots around the world in manufacturing centers and warehouses. Amazon alone has about 80,000 robots in their warehouses. What we realized a few years ago is that it takes three times as many people to fulfill an e-commerce order than it does to do a regular order. E-commerce is growing by $40 billion a year. Think about the old ways in which you shop. You go to a store. The distribution centers that supply the stores just send big cases of items. People in the store put it on the shelf and then you buy it from the shelf. But in an e-commerce facility, someone has to pick it up, someone has to sort it, someone has to put it into a box, and that takes time. A robot is any mechanical thing that can sense the environment around it and act in that environment. One robot you might have seen are Amazon's famous Kiva robots. So these are little robots on wheels that move around a warehouse and bring shelves from one place to another. The type of robot we build is very similar to what you might see in an automotive manufacturer. We use deep learning, reinforcement learning, we use computer vision techniques. We use all these algorithms to learn from the human what an object is. So how is it shaped? How soft is it? How should you pick it up? Where should you put it? Grasping seems so simple to us, so intuitive. You just do it without even thinking about it. But it is one of the hardest problems in robotics today, is how do you pick up an object? But once you can pick up any object, you can then have the robot do anything with that object. Everything from picking and sorting and packing. Retailers are now moving to much more sophisticated packaging. When you open a box, you want to have an incredible experience. Somebody has to sit there and very carefully put on the wrapping paper and the bow and write the note. A lot of that is going to get automated in the next 10, 20 years. You're going to start seeing more and more robots all the way from manufacturing to the shipping to receiving to final point when it gets to you. So what our robots allow us to do is that we can have people do the things that people are good at. People are creative, people are imaginative. The repetitive work, the physical work, the heavy lifting will be done by the robots so that you, know, you don't get tired after a couple of hours on the job and you need to sit down.